This is breaking news that you will soon see all over the internet. The World Health Organization is monitoring a new COVID variant known as Mu. And what makes this variant especially dangerous is that the new Mu variant may be immune to the vaccines. An anti-vax virus? Seriously, how much more can we take? WHO said they need more time to better understand the mutating variant. But here is what you need to know. Right now, the Mu variant, also known as B1621, is very specific to South America, especially Colombia, where it is reported that 39% of overall cases got it. That makes it up to 1.6 million Mu variant cases just over there. And this poses an important question for all of us. What if, just like the Delta variant, Mu spreads to the rest of the world? For me, it's really just a matter of time as we have seen with the Delta. In terms of how fast, we'll have to wait and see. And how do you feel knowing there's a new variant that may be immune to the vaccine? Well, some people will not like this, but I'm about to say some uncomfortable truths that may literally save someone's life in the future. A. Many countries will never reach herd immunity. B. COVID-19 is here to stay. C. More people need to look within and strengthen their bodies. Eta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta. These are actual names of all the new variants. And now we have another new variant that may be immune to the vaccine. Enough is enough. Soon we will run out of the alphabet to name all these new variants. And as all of this happens, isn't it crazy how governments promote lotteries and even free burgers to encourage people to vaccinate? But no one is saying how you have a responsibility to strengthen your own immune system. No one is saying how a vast majority of COVID deaths is coming from people with weaker immune systems. It's time to wake up and look within yourself. Israel has a 60% fully vaccinated population and in these past few days they saw the worst COVID numbers since the beginning of the pandemic. Some countries have been locked up for a year and a half. They push vaccines to everyone and up to this day they struggle with cases. If you add all the constantly mutating more contagious variants and now even the possibility of them mutating beyond our vaccination it is undeniable that we may still be talking about COVID-19 in 2025 and so as I said earlier this may save someone's life in the future the governments will never tell you that because the most profitable businesses in the world are also the ones that make your health worse whether you are vaccinated or not start preparing yourself for a world where COVID is staying for a long time the only way to prepare yourself for the unknown future is to look within yourself and see how much do you do to make your own health stronger beyond just the vaccination.